Welcome to Excel Tips and tip number 55. Uh, and in this tip we're going to show you some stuff around um, tracing precedence. Uh, now as a lot of you guys will know that uh, trace precedence under your formulas menu you've got trace precedence. If you press that it will show you where those um, uh, the precedence for the value that you've checked is. If I remove the arrows you can also do that by control left bracket and it will highlight those cells for you. What you might not know is um, Excel actually allows you to trace all precedence. So if you um, are using your keyboard, again, control shift left bracket this time, you'll see it not only highlights uh, the 500s, uh, which are the totals, but also the columns which they total. Now you can also do this across a number of fields. Uh, and one last thing that you can also do, uh, which we've just thrown in for a little bit of fun, um, is we can throw that to a macro. Um, I'll actually show you that macro first, which are basic. Um, so select precedent select and then we've said the interior color uh, to set to this number um, which is bright yellow. Uh, if I minimize that again, if I run that macro you'll see it actually selects them and uh, selects the original precedent. So you can actually set it up so it selects and um, colors the bottom one as well but in this example we've just said uh, go back to the original um, precedence. So hopefully that helps you uh, do your auditing a little bit more um, efficiently uh, without having to say, right, let's track back and then track back again. You can track back the full way in one hit. Just another little tip that we thought we'd share with you.